Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rainy day, beautiful, wonderful, yay. So anyway, I just got this grain auger up here and I'm gonna try to run this with the Alice Chalmers B, you know, Predator powered. Subscribers been with me, seen it, so. Here's what we got. Got this grain auger, got a grain bin. I'm gonna put up a small one. I've got a big one, but it's a pain. This won't reach it, but this will do the small one I got. And I want to get it over here and get some feed. Hopefully the brain won't get the camera, but I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> you just pulled it in, got it from the other place, drug it around. It was on top, but we're going to try to run this out of curiosity. Probably going to have to wait until it quits raining. It's been raining every day here, but I'm going to try to get it all hooked up, run this PTO. It doesn't turn at a full 540, but that's not a big deal on this auger here so if it turns a little slower it don't really matter to me i don't have that much to move it's not like a big commercial farm or nothing you know maybe a small little bitty truckload at a time or something but it did get it here so hopefully it will turn it as well and run it and unload it and it will be very cheap because that's only 212 cc's you know versus the four cylinder that comes in that factory so Get out of the rain. I'll probably wait till it goes, hopefully. But I'm gonna go and put a little grease. See what I'm talking about. I'll probably check the gearbox. I don't know. It's I know it's got some in it. I might do it, leave it alone just for now, but I'm definitely gonna go get some some kind of grease and lube for this where the shaft runs up to run the auger itself. And kind of, you know, hit every one of them. Give it a little lubrication. It's always good. <laughs> So, anyways, I'm going to get out of the rain, and I'll do that, and I'll come back, and we'll get this tractor set up, and we'll see if this thing will run. I'm hoping it will. And if not, i got a regular tractor. It's not a big deal, but I've got to play with the toys, right? So, be back in a minute. We'll see. See you then. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. i got everything greased and set up, and tractor backed up, shaft hooked up, ready to go. So, here's what we got. Got the tractor in place. Got this hooked up. What I did, I just took a can, had some white lithium grease, just kind of shot them as we go up through there. It's kind of crazy that these don't have like a pillow block or something in them. They're just metal on metal. Unless that's what I left of the bearing, but it just looks like a piece of metal in there the shaft rides on. I don't know, I don't like it, but what you do, work with what you got. So, everything's hooked up. Got that going. And got it you know off the ground good enough to go and i think we're good i greased chain too and also greased all the u-joints so without further ado i'll set the camera up turn the tractor on get it going and cross your fingers that this works i haven't tried it yet but i'm a little giddy because this is another step along the way so hang on i'll set you up and we'll get started bear with me on the camera work here Get this camera set up and life is good. All right. Looks pretty good. It had feed and they're coming. Had a little in it. <laughs> Chickens and ducks didn't waste no time. Here they come. <laughs> awesome. Working. Let me get this out of the tripod. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bear with me. I'll get my camera out of the tripod. Bear with me. This is awesome. I don't need this around that dry stuff like it over there. All right. It is working. This is awesome. I am happy, happy, happy. 
Let me double check that. Like I said, I wasn't too worried about it. I'm not going to run it a long time. It is working. It's awesome. The grain hog is working good. I don't know what it is, but the chicken liked it. What do you think, rooster? Farm approved? <laughs> yeah, they lost interest. This is awesome. Like I said, I am just super ecstatic right now. You have no idea. Did it sitting there running? I was worried the front was so wide it might have picked up or something, but it didn't. Awesome. They're running off a of six and a half. Yeah, that's uh hold on a second. That is way cheaper than running that off that factory four cylinder to hook it with. Awesome. That is running that. The Predator tractor is doing something else, you know. I got one more thing I can do with this thing. Move it around and hook up the sauger. Again, farming for pennies on the dollar. Let's see if we can hook this up. We don't have to run that four cylinder. It's a lot cheaper. Run that 212 cc engine right there. Why run the big motor, especially the gas getting tired of it? I mean, this, this is all part of the, the method to the madness why I wanted to build one of these. There's going to be more. I am super ecstatic. Like I said, that water is sitting there working. Happy, 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 happy I am. Awesome. Alright, one last look and I'm going to shut her down. That's it, it's just sitting there working away. That is great. So, the little motor is sitting here Cadillacing. One more overall look here. Nice. All right, let's shut her off. <laughs> awesome. I'm ecstatic. Okay. One more off the list. Something else we can do with it. This is great uh you know if i can get the brush hog figured out with it and i i got a video coming up doing some stuff i think i've got that figured out too won't can do it with six and a half i did do it with this but it's geared a little bit low in time it goes through the gear reduction the pto it's got the pulling power i mean i can pull and do all that with it but it slows the pto down enough the the brush hog ain't running fast enough but a 13 and a gear ratio will speed it up a little bit and I think we'll have a perfect brush off tractor but this you know and I can still run hay rakes and stuff with it so don't get me wrong but we'll get into all that in another video before I start rambling off on that let's talk about this this is great this is working so six and a half horsepower is running this grain auger don't need to run four cylinder tractor a lot less fuel and I moved it down here out here with it in the field just to play with it I'm gonna put everything up hook this up move it out of here so this is this is great i can move this around with this little tractor right here you know they don't cost nothing to run i've been running this i filled this up yesterday i did a little brush hogging did a little playing and went and got this all kinds of stuff i used a half a tank and it holds three quarters of a gallon you know oh my god that's gonna break my bank what is that uh half a three quarters of a gallon i don't know round about two thirds of a gallon not well yeah give or take a little bit somewhere in that ballpark but it running it for a couple hours or three four hours yeah i'm not let's see what i did yesterday and today and yeah yeah there's probably about three hours just worth of running piddling and just little knickknack stuff didn't have it screaming but you know i did a little bit on that brush hog and stuff so yeah i figured two hours anyway at a half, half a gallon ain't that what i figured yeah three quarters of a gallon. yeah about a half a gallon so yeah great awesome imagine doing that two hours of work on that four cylinder that come out on this bee uh that would drink quite a bit more so this is awesome this is great we're going to keep improving on this and I got one more thing I can do with it. This is great. So, 
and the chickens will help clean up there they'll get rid of that but that's awesome and the auger works i'm happy with that so i need to get that grain bin down here and get the feed and stuff set up so anyways i'm happy i'm gonna cut this video off i hope you enjoyed this this was just something else to see what we could do with this and we're gonna keep expanding on this stuff so stay tuned on this channel i got more builds coming i got a few more of these tractors i want to and i'd order some parts and we're gonna do them a little different than what i have been and i got a video i'm gonna might try to get down and make a video and we're gonna go over some stuff so anyway enough for that for today i hope you like this you know if you like this thing running this auger give me a thumbs up i think that's pretty cool i can do it off this little bitty predator engine for a lot less fuel than that factory four cylinder so i am thrilled but anyway enough of that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it does help the channel and if you like the predator power in the auger give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already it's free don't cost none hit the bell and you'll get notified of the upcoming build and all the other stuff i'm getting ready to do with this and the other tractor so i guess that's it so if you like this video like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video bye